Hello guys, this is the second tutorial about JFLAB. Uh, the first one was about the basics of JFLAB and in this one we focus only working with the Turing machine. Uh, we will have more in the future about JFLAB that will come later. So let's get started. We can customize JFLAB's behavior by changing its preferences. So first we will talk about JFLAB's preferences. Then we will focus on JFLAB's different behaviors to accept a string. To understand this tutorial, you would need knowledge about Turing machines. And also please note that uh, we will be using JFLAB 7.1 during this tutorial. Let's start with the preferences. Uh, to cover all we need for this tutorial, I respond to several questions one by one, and I'll demo them while explaining about them. So let's start with the, where is the preferences? So first we need to run the JFLAP. Okay, so here is the preferences. And as you see, we have some sub items here. Uh, set the empty set. If you remember, I said uh, we have two different symbols for the empty strings, lambda and epsilon. You can set it here. So we would like to continue with the lambda. And what else we have? Set undo amount. That's by default 50 and it's enough. Color palette chooser so these guys will show you how to set the uh, state's color so the original one is um, something uh, you know light yellow and we stick with the, this one and this one is the basic one that i want to talk about in this tutorial particularly these two are most interest ones accept by final state, accept by uh, halting. Uh, I will talk about this one uh, in the future tutorial. And this one didn't work for me. So I just ignore that. All right. OK, so this was the first question I answered. Let's talk about the next question. Brief explanation about each menu items that I just gave you. Which menu items are important? I just explain that how jflab does save the preferences that's the important question uh, let me bring up this guy as you see when we work with the jflab preferences it creates a new file an xml file and if you look at inside it as you see there are some settings here so these two are the important one that we will talk about. Turing accept by final state, Turing accept by halt. And the rest of them is not our interest so far. But please note that we don't touch this file because you know any changes and discrepancies in this file maybe affect the behavior of your JFLAB and causes some uh, unexpected uh, behavior all right so we prefer to set everything from here and the last question is test multiple run versus test multiple run transducer let me briefly explain that we need to go to the Turing machine okay so you put your design here, whatever it is. Then when you want to test, you go to input. We have two multiple run. It's a regular one, multiple run, multiple run in transducer. So it means that Turing machine can work in two different modes. This multiple run is the one that we will be using for regular Turing machines. In the next tutorial, I will talk about this one. Now let's talk about how JFLAB accepts strings. JFLAB has two different settings for this purpose. Accept by halting, accept by final states. 
let me talk about each one in detail. So except by halting, if this mode is picked, then JFLAP accepts a string when it halts, regardless of being in an accepting state or not. Yeah, let me show you. First, we make sure that this setting is checked. Yes, accept by halting. And now I create a simple Turing machine. Let me make this as an initial state. And yeah, we don't need final state here. So if it is A, don't change it, go to the right. If it is B, don't change it, go to the right. Multiple run. How about A? How about A, B? A, B, B. Let's see how it works. Run. All of them are accepted. How come? Because when machine stops, it accepts, regardless of where it stops. And this is really weird. Yeah, in some situation, maybe some algorithm needs this. But definitely, we don't like this. Okay, so let me show you the trace, view the trace. As you see here, the A is consumed and machine stops. Machine stops here in Q1, but it accepts, even though it is not a accepting state. How about this one? View the trace. You see both of them are consumed. And how about this guy? Yeah, it shows that even the the last B is not consumed. You see this red bar here? So it is not consumed, but since the machine stops, it will accept. All right. Yeah, we don't like that. The next mode is accept by final state. And in this mode, if the machine passes an accepting state, it halts an accepted string, regardless of having more transition after that. Okay, let me show you the demo. So first we need to make sure that Turing machine is in accept by final state. Yeah, so this guy is checked. This is the previous one. I just loaded that. Okay, so let me make this guy as a final state. And let's see how it works. So multiple run again. What we predict is based on this definition that I just gave you, all of them should be accepted because there is an accepting state here. For the A, definitely it reaches here and will be accepted. That's the normal thing that we expect. But for the rest of them, since it passes the Q1, it stops here in Q1 and don't care about the rest of the symbols. So look at this. You see, all of them are accepted. And if we trace this one after consuming the A, when it reaches in Q1, you see Q1 here, and it stops. This doesn't look right to us. Yeah, but we can somehow by making some modification to make this mode an acceptable and consistent with whatever we said so far. How can we do that? This way. So if let's assume that we really want just accept A, nothing else. In this way, we remove this and we change this as, so I remove this too and make it blank. If after A we have blank, don't change it and go to the right. It can be go to the left as well. And then we change this as a final state. So this machine reads A and it expect after the A, it should be a blank symbol. And if this is the case, then it goes here and will stop in the Q2 and will accept A. Anything else will stop here in Q1. And since this mode is picked, I mean accept by final state, then if machine stops in anywhere else, like Q1, it will reject the string. Let's see how it works. Multiple run. 
and run. That's how we really expect it. So for example, for AB, if we trace, we see that it stops in Q1, as you see here, and B was not consumed. So with this technique, we can make these settings accept by final state consistent with whatever we set so far and what really we expect. This one we like. And we can check both of them, accept by whole thing and final state. So definitely this is not a good thing for us because whichever comes first, then JFLAP behaves like that one. And since accept by whole thing really is not good for us, so it will mix this accept by whole thing with the accept by final state that will mess up. So we really don't like this mode. And accept by neither whole thing nor final state, this mode is really weird too because every string in this mode will be rejected. Yeah, you can check it by yourself to save some time. Uh, I won't go over it. So here is our conclusion. These settings accept by halting, accept any strings because machine, you know, just halt. So if it halts, it will accept a string. That's not a good thing for us. Uh, accept by final state was something that we, you know, like that and it was consistent with whatever we set so far and accept by whole thing and accept by final state. I mean, this both guy will accept any string and we don't like that and none of them will reject every string. So definitely uh, we will go with accept with final state. And to make sure that we are on the same page, here is the menu that should be checked. And let me give you some final notes. So before testing any Turing machine, always make sure that the right option is set. Okay, so why I am saying this? Because if you relocate the JFLAP jar file, so this guy, if you relocate this guy, and if you don't re relocate the JFLAP preferences, then JFLAP work with the default settings. Fortunately, this one, the accept by final state is default one, but it's a good habit that you always check your uh, preferences settings. And here are the references that we use for this tutorial. I'm going to stop here. See you guys in the next video.